Hello, everyone. I am here this morning. I wanted to record a thank you message to all of the subscribers that have been a big part of this channel's growth in such a short period of time. Um, I have over 500 subscribers, and although it might sound like a little bit of, of subscribers, to me is a whole lot because I would have never expected when I opened this channel that I truly opened it out of the goodness of my heart because I do like to teach. And I said, what better forum than YouTube to reach a broader base? And I am so thankful that every day I log in and I see more and more people subscribing, sending me wonderful messages. And I am very appreciative and humbled by it. So I just wanted to take a few minutes of this morning before I go into work um, to teach because I do, I am a clinical uh, instructor when I'm not at the best side. And just thank you again, because it's really humbling when you see people that actually are trying to support you, are not bringing any negativity to the channel. The comments are always very inspirational. I mean, I get a lot of messages that say how I am an inspiration to them, but honestly, I don't think I don't think like that. I think that you guys are my inspiration because I really enjoy what I am doing and I enjoy knowing that it's going to help you because I know the struggle. I know what it is to get up early in the morning and all you think about is school. When you need to eat lunch, all you're thinking about, should I eat or should I continue to study? When you get home, all you're thinking about, should I rest or, or, or no, I'd rather go study. Because when you are in nursing school or any type of program that you're trying to accomplish so that you can reach your future goals, it is hard and it takes a lot of work. And I know um, how it is for specifically for nursing students because I was there. I know the struggle. I did the um, accelerated program. Um, I did a BSN, a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing in 11 months. So I totally understand where you're coming from. I remember those days and it really gives me like an anxiety attack because people ask me, oh, do you remember this clinical? And I can... I honestly can tell you that I have no recollection about, let's say, 70% of the things that I did during those 11 months because everything is so fast, so crammed, and it's hard to learn that way. I mean, more power to you, and if you're with those type of people that can learn so many important concepts and the pathophysiology of disease processes and pharmacology, I salute you. But that wasn't easy for me. I, it was pretty hard. And because of the struggle that I went through to understand the material, it had, it took, you know, it really almost took a toll on me. And I said, is this for me? Is this for me? But you know what? When you think like that about yourself and you feel yourself that you're down and that you're becoming depressed, and I've had students Heck, even me, I, I said, you know, am, am I good enough for this? And you really have to kind of meditate on that and realize that, yes, you are. You are good enough to finish nursing school or any type of program that you set your mind to it. When I changed my mindset, I was able to accomplish many things. My, my thoughts got clearer. My um, anxiety got better. I was in a better mood. So it is normal to feel, basically, I'm going to use the word that nobody likes to hear. It is normal to feel like, am I a loser? I don't understand these concepts. That is totally normal. What is not normal is you putting yourself down like that. Because when you do that, you're going to take the space that you need to motivate yourself in order to accomplish those goals that you want to accomplish. Because you know that at the end of the road, once you finish nursing school, or again, any other program that you are trying to do so that you have those goals set and, and you walk on that graduation 
uniform and, and the pinning ceremonies and your, your family's looking on, and then you start your career, those are the things that you have to focus on. And yes, we have to work really hard to get there, but there are rewards at the end. It's like what they say, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, because honestly, with me, I didn't see a light for a long time. I thought that I made a big mistake leaving my established career uh, because I wanted to take a chance to something that I wanted to do really bad for a long time. I left the business world. I started from scratch. And to go into a program like that that's accelerated and then realizing that, wow, did I make a mistake is tough on you. And I know that many of you are going through that even when you're in the four-year programs, if you're not in the accelerated. It is very tough. It's tough to learn anatomy and physiology and the pathophysiology and the mechanism of action and, and assessment this, assessment that. It is very difficult to get all that information in such a short period of time. But I know you could do it. Um, I did it. I have a family. I know many of you um, that do these accelerated programs where you have to have another degree in something else and do all those prereqs in order to get into the nursing program, have families as well. And it's all about a balance. But, you know, when I was going through it, nobody could tell me what I'm trying to tell you now. I was like, what are you talking about? I am just going to fail. And you know, I'm going to have to, you know, take a whole year off so that I can retake a class because that's how the program I was, was. If you failed the class, you had to wait a whole year and you could only go back for that class. And you only had one chance to do that. So there's a lot going on in your head when you're going through these types of programs because there's a lot resting on it. You know, you, many of us... Um, have to take loans to do these accelerated programs because it is very expensive. And you also have to take into consideration that you're not gonna be able to work during that time frame. So if, if you're doing it like I did in less than a year, it was a requirement not to work and I didn't. And thank God I didn't because I don't even know if I had an hour to work because I was constantly looking at a book, doing a study guide and I'm so thankful for a really good friend of mine who um, right now she's a nurse practitioner. She lives in the state I live in. And she helped me see a, a better side of, of the program. And that's when we started with the study guides. And, and I realized, you know what, I'm a visual learner. I have to make it easy for me to understand because in a lot of programs, unfortunately, you're being presented information but you're being read off information, right? So it's not like you're actually learning because you could read, you could read that stuff at home. Um, so I said that one day I was gonna make it different. I was gonna make something that was gonna be understandable to that struggling crowd that I was in when I was going through that program myself. And you know what, I did it. I, I was done, it took me a lot of work, a lot of struggles but I did it and I know that you can too. And that's why I'm so, so thankful that so many of you have reached out to me in personal messages via my website, on the, uh, in the comments under the videos. And this channel is gonna grow. We are a diverse community and we're gonna make this channel grow. You know, that is all that I, that I see in the future. Uh, you need to be optimistic because they say you want to make sure that you are thinking about what you want to reach. Say it out loud so that it can happen. And I know we're going to make this channel big. And you know what? Yes, I know that there are other channels that have a lot of subscribers, a big following. But guess what? Who cares? No one's the same. I'm not the same um, as anybody else. Everybody's different. Everybody brings their own little flavor to the table so again i'm so thankful for you guys let's grow this channel give me ideas i'm thinking of doing like a live um teaching session or a live question session you know i do many questions i do nclex type questions so i'm thinking of maybe i should do a live nclex type question session i don't know tell me what you think but again, I just wanted to take a couple minutes out of my morning on my way to work 
um, to to appreciate you guys and and appreciate that you are giving me your time because your time is super valuable. I know my time is valuable, uh, but when we want something, we make time for it and I'm making time for you. So again, thank you so much. And I look forward to all of your positive comments, all of your ideas, and I will try my best to incorporate as many as I can possibly can. Okay, so I wish you a blessed rest of your day, rest of your week, and look forward to some really good videos on pharmacology. I love farm. That's my specialty. So look forward to those. Okay, well, have a great day. Okay, bye.